with that, uh, Clint, did you see any other key developments uh, that sh- demonstrate AI and 5G are coming together and making an, a big impact? <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I tell you, it's hard to avoid uh, the, the intersection of AI and 5G, just like it's hard to avoid the intersection of AI and anything uh, in the market right now. So uh, in any case, um, absolutely. I mean, there are a number of stories we could pick from, but I thought one of the more interesting ones was um, the uh, the news from NVIDIA and SoftBank about their collaboration on powering SoftBank's data center build using uh, NVIDIA's Grace Hopper super chip, uh, which is utilized for generative AI and 5G, and, and I think, you know, ultimately for 6G as well. Um, and Ron, I know you've been following this story too, and very interested in your thoughts, but, um, uh, you know, a couple of initial impressions on my end, and then, and then it'd be great to, you know, kind of dive into your perspective too. But I know, you know, SoftBank has been building data centers that host generative AI and wireless applications on a multi-tenant common server platform all across Japan uh, with the goal of reducing costs and improving the fabric-wide energy efficiency. Um, And this all includes a a, a top priority of continuing to advance SoftBank's infrastructure to attain some greater performance using AI, including optimization of the radio access networks themselves. and in addition, uh, SoftBank is, has signaled that they're expecting AI to help reduce the energy consumption, going back to our earlier theme, and generate a network of interconnected data centers that could be used to share resources and host a really rapidly expanding range of different gen- generative AI applications. So I, I know you took a look at this one too, Ron. I mean, what, what are your thoughts? What do you think are some of the key implications with uh, the NVIDIA and SoftBank news here? Yeah, right on, Clint. And I think, uh, first of all, we can anticipate that what SoftBank is doing is going to be emulated in other parts of the world. And when you drill down here, what we're seeing is that the platform will use NVIDIA MGX reference architecture uh, that is leveraging the ARM Neoverse-based GH200 superchips. And this is designed specifically to improve performance as well as scalability and the use of resources for emerging application workloads. Now, when you look at specifically NVIDIA Gracehopper, along with the NVIDIA Bluefield 3 data processing units, they are designed to accelerate the software-defined 5G VRAM, as well as generative AI applications without having to use bespoke hardware accelerators or specialized 5G CPUs. And in addition, the NVIDIA Spectrum Ethernet switch with Bluefield 3 is set to deliver Uh, more precise timing protocols for 5G implementations. So as a result, the solution is designed to improve 5G speed on an NVIDIA accelerated 1U MGX-based server design, uh, which is natural, but also it can deliver throughput of 36 gigabits downlink capacity. And uh, what this means is that NVIDIA is asserting competitive differentiation. Naturally, uh, the shot at CPU is targeted at players like uh, Intel and AMD, but uh, what they're claiming is that when you look at the available data across 5G accelerators, uh, they are asserting that they can now come out with a competitive advantage at this juncture. But stay tuned. We know that this is a back and forth battle. And uh, so this is just a way for NVIDIA trying uh, to gain more attention for its 5G proposition. However, from my view, I believe operators have struggled somewhat in delivering high speed downlink capacity using at least today's uh, industry standard servers. So now we're seeing again, advance in server design to company advance in uh, design and architecture and chips themselves. And of course, uh, the systems that are implementing them. So again, this is pointing to the 5G realm becoming more interesting here in the near future. And I think uh, one thing that's also important to note is that NVIDIA MGX is a modular reference architecture that is aimed at enabling system manufacturers and hyperscale customers to build over a hundred different server variations to suit their needs for AI, HPC, and NVIDIA Omniverse applications. Mm-hmm. So this is you know, basically catering to reality. We know it's a... Uh, it, complex out there. There are many different vendor supplied solutions, but that I think is intriguing that NVIDIA designed something that's specifically adapted to being able to run over any 
server implementation. So we'll see how that plays out. Naturally, that's something I think will gain some attention. Mm -hmm. Also, by incorporating NVIDIA's aerial software for cloud-native 5G networks, uh, the 5G base stations can allow operators to dynamically allocate compute resources. And what that means, that can potentially achieve uh, power efficiency gains of uh, twice. Uh, doubling basically power efficiency gains. And so naturally we know that there are sustainability initiatives out there as well as even sustainability uh, mandates. And this is something obviously the operators as well as the cloud providers and everybody else in the 5G ecosystem, look, keeping a close eye and improving 5G performance, but also meeting uh, sustainability goals.